Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and I wanted to come to you all really quick. I'm getting ready to travel out of town for the holidays and um, I had a request from someone um, that wanted to ask me how do you refill a um, travel size item with the item in which you can't get the top off of. So this is a Bath and Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist and there's no way to get the top off of here, right? So how do I get this product? into that little tiny travel size bottle because I don't buy travel size items often. Um, I'm going to be showing you all two examples of this. Um, this is my perfume that I am currently wearing while, while I'm out of town and this is an old hand sanitizer uh, bottle but I like it because it's very very compact and the, the top screws off and so I'm going to show you all how I, how I go from getting the items out of uh, I'm going to show you all how I, how I go from getting the items out of these two containers that you can't literally get the product out of. Like, there's no way to twist the top off or anything. So, from this to these little tiny travel size items. So, first I'm going to start with the uh, Calvin Klein uh, Downtown. I really like this scent a lot, but this is my current fragrance that I'm using. The actual perfume that I use while I'm out of town. I simply just twist the top off, y'all. Set it to the side. And this is a little tedious, but it works for me. I just literally spray the perfume into the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that here on camera with you all. I, oops, I simply just keep going and keep spraying until it fills up. And as you all can see, you can see it filling up as I'm like spraying it in here. So you literally just keep doing that until it fills all the way up. And that's it, really. I don't feel it all the way up to the top. So let me move my hand down so you can see where I'm at. But I don't feel it all the way up to the top because you have to leave room for when you put the lid back on. So I fill it up to maybe right about here. And then I take my lid and once I put my lid in you'll see the, the perfume rise and then I twist it on. And then that's it. So now I have my travel size perfume ready to go. So I'm going to show you all the other example. Again, this is an old travel size uh, bottle, but you just take the lid off of here, take the cap off of here, and just spray it in there. Now this one's going to take a little longer because this travel size is a little bit bigger, but I literally just spray it. Let me hold it this way so you can see it. But yeah, you just keep spraying until it fills up to the top. It might get a little messy. Oh, and then on this side, you want to make sure the nozzle is kind of pointing down where this is so that it doesn't just like not squirt anything out so then I'll just do that until it's filled all the way up and yeah you might get a little bit of perfume on your hands or whatever but um, I just take whatever gets on my hands and put it on my body so I'm going to speed through this one because like I said I know it's going to take a little bit longer but yeah, it's, it's fairly quick though. I mean, it takes about five minutes to do this. Not even five minutes. It takes just a couple of minutes to, to fill it up. And yeah, you lose a couple of drops of perfume here and there, but overall it beats having to buy a whole separate travel size bottle or something. Alright, so that's probably the fullest that I'm going to fill it up. Maybe I'll do like three more squirts. That's the fullest I'm going to do it because again, you want to leave some room for when you put the cap on. And then there you go. So I probably actually could have got some more in there. But um, actually I am going to put more in there. Let me go ahead and finish filling this all the way up here. Okay, so... Fill it all the way up, and there you go. So now I have two travel size items of the perfume and body spray that I'm currently wearing at home without having to go out and purchase a whole separate tra travel size item. Um, so this is a really cool, nice, easy little hack um, to save a little bit of money and to avoid you having to go out and purchase a whole separate item. Um, just think, have your favorite scents while you're on the road as well. So I hope this little travel hack was very helpful for you all. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you all have tried this. Um, what do you do um, for your travel items to save a little bit of money so you don't have to go out and buy and purchase extra things. I love to hear 
all of your thoughts in the comments down below. So as always, y'all, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.